What are you smoking? I am smoking. I don't, I don't even know what name. it is. I don't remember the name. Archetype. Archetype. I knew it was Arc something. <laughs> well, people have been asking, what are you guys smoking? What are you smoking? Yeah, so, right there. Uh, that's a nice cigar. It's very good. Yeah. Joe got it for me. Mm. Thanks, Joe. You're welcome. I got you more, too. Mm, yeah, so, I'm, I'm very generous mm. that way. You are a generous now person. You, now but, you owe me. But my, see, that's, what's your now problem? you owe me. What is your problem? That, well, that's, I, that's the only one I have. Yeah, what's your problem? Your problem is you're a hater. And everybody knows it, mm -mm. and that's what we name, need to talk name about. Name one thing. Name uh, one thing that I'm a hater about. Uh, Wayne Grudem. Okay. See that? All right. See, you, see, uh, see what happened right there? I feel like well, I feel like you just won. Okay, because yeah. uh, we get you. You guys uh, send us messages all the time. Mm -hmm. Why? Why do you hate? Uh, Wayne Grudem, or mm. what, what's the hate on Wayne Grudem? Yeah. We love Wayne Grudem. Why don't you guys love Wayne Grudem? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the best system in the world. It's, yeah. uh, you know, they're, they're, it's, I mean, after the apostles, it's, <laughs> it's, it's, it's Wayne Grudem's, you know, charismatic, systematic theology. <laughs> Inspired. So, why, uh, so, no way, Wayne. No way, Wayne. Let's just try and settle this for everybody. All right, because we get it all the time. Didn't we even put it on our FAQ uh, we, page? We, we've addressed it. We've addressed, we've addressed it, it multiple times. But we're gonna do the we're gonna do this little video here. Yeah. Uh, and we're probably gonna do a few of these. What's your problem? Yeah. What's your problem? Because we, we we've got we got lots of problems. We do. We do. Lots of them. Well, we don't really have problems. People have problems with what we say. <laughs> yeah. You know what? The problem is not us. The problem is you. Yeah. It's not us. Yeah. It's you. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Wayne is a Dr. brother. Grudem. Dr. Grudel is a brother and lord. Well, that's he, very generous. You know, no, what do you mean generous? It's true. He's a brother and lord. He loved Jesus. Smart dude. Very intelligent. Good writer. Yes. Great. And uh, he's done something that you, scholar. And I, you and I will never be able to pull never. off writing never. the systematic theology. Exactly. We're not scholars like that. So no, that, no. Listen, major props to him for, for pulling that off. That's a, that's a big feat. That's exactly, exactly. So, all right. I want to say on the front end, um, our issue is not necessarily with Wayne Grudel. Right. Like we have disagreements, like we do with anybody, right. as far as people's stance on right. certain doctrines and positions, right? So like, let's start with the little things before we get to the big one. Let's, right. do, it, let's do it like right. that. So the reason we don't favor Grudem Systemat is number one, um, it it doesn't really stand up next to other proper systematic theologies in its content, in the sense that your your proper systio. Um, goes into history and philosophy. Yes. yes. And, um, and and his doesn't really do that. So it's when when you hold it up to other systematic theologies, it feels like it's lacking quite a bit. Yeah. So it's not as thorough. Yeah. I think it doesn't go as deep um, as as a Burkhoff would. Right. Right. And um, Burkhoff is a one volume. Yeah. Uh, systematic. So it's comparable. Yeah. Uh, and Burkhoff doesn't go as deep as Bavink, of course. No. Nope, no. Nope. But which is a four volume. But still, um, you can get other one volumes that are much more robust. That's right. That's right. So, and then there are other doctrinal issues that his view of the gifts. The gifts, of, you know, yeah, he's, he's, he's a continuationist, continuationist, yeah. And uh, and you are a John MacArthur man. I'm a John MacArthur. <laughs> you are basically the Mexican John MacArthur. <gasps> you can't say that. No. You can't. No bueno. Why not? No bueno. Why not? No, no. Oh, you're the Guatemalan. Thank, thank so, okay, you. Okay, you're the Guatemalan. There you go. So, um, no, because he's 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 pretty amped. Yeah. He's a little too amped for us. Yeah. But we are cessationists in the yeah. classic sense. Um, and we can we talked about that. You guys can we we'll, talked about it. We'll probably have to do another one because people I think misunderstand it. Yeah. I think people, yeah, more and more as I'm even talking with others. Yeah. I, I think people just misunderstand what we mean by that. Yeah. So what we'll do on it. So there's that. There's this view of eschatology that we yeah. don't like. Um, some of his views on complementarianism, and then as it relates to the Trinity. Yeah. Uh, we're not down with a lot of that. So um, we've got some of those issues, but those are actually the smaller reasons why we joke about no way Wayne. Yeah, the, the issue is actually you, right? It really is. Like, the, the issue is the response that we well, got. Not, not you, but, but you. you. Yeah. No, no, the one behind. Yeah, no, that, that's that, the one I was pointing that to. That's good, okay. So yeah, I mean, here's the thing. It's like, uh, it's like if you're teasing someone. Mm -hmm. You tease someone and uh, they act like nothing happened, they don't care, you stop teasing them. It's not fun. It's not fun anymore, forget it. But then, you tease someone and they get defensive and react. Oh yeah, yeah. It's uh, that's, that, you hit the sweet spot. That, that's game on. Yeah, that's game on. That, and that's that actually how No Way Wayne started. Right. Was we don't plan a lot of things. We don't plan what we're gonna say. That just popped out. That just popped out. I think you out. just said it. I just said it. Well, yeah, obviously I said it because it popped out. 
Um, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I think I think it originated with you, is what I'm saying. Oh yeah, I don't no, know if I came I'm, up with it. No, because I'm the creative one. Yeah. And so, uh, but you know, I just said no way, Wayne, as a joke. But then the responses came in. Yeah, they didn't like that. Oh, I spent all this money on Wayne Grudem. Or they just love oh. him because, like, he was their introduction to theology. Exactly. And that's fine. That's He's good. a great. That's the issue. The issue is with you, in the sense that for those of you, that uh, you start there and you stop there. That's the concern that, that I would have, and I think we always kind of talk about is you need to be pushing forward, like moving you know, through things, going deeper, deeper yeah. uh, in your understandings. And that's part of it here is that for a lot of people, they grab the one and they say they're done, yeah. and that is where the concern really is. And yeah. so No Way Wayne was just a, uh, is a, was a reactionary response, I guess. You know? Yeah, we're having fun, we're having and fun. so we, you, know, like, you know what our beef is. But I think the fact that so many people refer to it as their go-to, as yeah. this is the one you need to get, when at best it's a good introduction to Sistheo. Yeah. And I would even encourage people, if they're looking for an introduction to systematic theology, instead of going to Grudem, um, I would say... Doctrine, go to Doctrine. No, don't Bye. do that. No, just well, throw that one out. You don't, no, wanna, I don't, even get, don't get me started. What do you mean? It's Stop a, it. What Stop. What? Stop. <laughs> pick up... Are you saying... Pick up James are you Montgomery. Saying, dump pick, the Driscoll? Pick up James Montgomery. Dump the uh, can, I, can I tell him what book to get? <laughs> yes, go ahead. James Montgomery Boyce's Foundations of the Christian Faith. I think that's a better and easier mm -hmm. intro with really good theology. Uh, and then you can move on to Burkhoff or WGT Shedd, Dogmatic Theology, yeah. or um, Charles Hodge, three volume. Um, you know, there's, there's some really good options out there. So, yeah, we're, we're pushing back on the idea yeah. that this is a great systematic theology win. And the only one. Yeah, it's not great compared to others. and. It's okay. Yeah. It's, uh, we have it. You know, we, it's yeah. great. We use it. Use yeah. it. But, but look at other stuff, too. Yeah. Yeah. Be sure and uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel yeah. if you want more videos. Uh, we'd love to do them. And uh, if they go to the website, they can uh, sign up for our mailing list. We Bam. have all kinds of good content coming out, new content, and mm. a lot more stuff in the near future. So stay tuned. Let's do it. <laughs> Later. Hey. Oh. What? What? Well, I was just going to... What? You know, that was awkward. <laughs> what? <laughs>